Well, what a journey it's been. What, from YouTube channel to six one-hour TV shows, a wonderful series, On the Road, our very own production. And it took so long, didn't it, to create a film and then get the backing and then get it commissioned by ITV4. And it seems to have gone in a flash. Over in a heartbeat, wasn't it? I know. <laughs> Some amazing Over. memories, yeah. especially the cars. Over 50 different cars, probably more cars on six episodes on any car show before. You know, properly driven cars. I don't just mean in the background. And that's really what I want to talk to you about. The cars of the show, not just what we think, but what people have been talking about on social media. And also, before we move on to the cars, hopefully around the world, there's negotiations going on now that there should be a TV station near America, Canada, South Africa, Australia. We hope it'll be spread around so they'll be able to appreciate show yeah. number one. The Ford GT, I mean, that has to be the star of our opening episode. What a way to kick it off. But I think also for me, I mean, obviously I enjoyed doing the driving, my usual smoking tyres, but I think each other quality of our little production team and the filming of it, the editing of it, you know, putting those historic shots over the side of the car in the static. So I think the quality stood out in our first show. I'm always very proud of the quality, but uh, yeah, Ford GT. And Ford GT, by the way, I think on social media got the most uh, coverage as well on episode one, although there was a couple other good things on there as well. Episode two. Well, we jumped from a supercar of the past era feeling the Ford, although it's very new, the GT, to the sort of future of super electric supercars with that Porsche Taycan, which, uh, I mean, it's got that power and torque from the word go. It still hasn't got the beating heart that I love of an engine with pistons flying up and down, but a hugely impressive machine. I love that car. Amazing bit of engineering. But I think more people spoke about the Bentley Flying Spur. And again, that was, you said about the small team. We filmed that in less than a day. We had to be at the airport for four o'clock. So we're in the south of France, we look so glamorous, fighting the Monaco traffic. And we had to be at the airport by four o'clock in the afternoon. Panicking, panicking that man. <laughs> From Bentley, episode three. Ah, the highlight maybe of this series. Pagani's on no. the Cinque Roadster. You and your dream world. But yeah. I mean, what a dream car. And what a, again, the great thing we've had with Love Cars is that the people have lent us these amazing cars to film, you know, and that was for the On The Road TV series. But I think the star of the show has to be me, though, really. I mean, <laughs> I know you have it from the Zonda, but that electric rally cross car, again, the future. You know, we're petrol heads, but, you know, it doesn't mean we'd say we don't look at electric stuff. And I think that rally cross is the perfect place for electric cars, because it's power for, what, a 10-minute race, then you can put new batteries and in. And then swap the batteries over. Yeah. Well, I love that piece, actually. Saving range is the biggest enemy of, um, of electric world. Tell me about it. I'm in an electric car as we speak now. <laughs> and then again, episode four, me off the road again, because I was off the road in that um, rage buggy, and of course I had the lovely Vicky Piria, our Italian racing star, and she joined us. Well, she was on three programmes, wasn't she? And, and in that one, she was in the aerial nomad, and... That was a lot of fun, it really was. Also in episode four, Ferrari Monza SP2, another heavyweight, really high quality car with uh, 1.6 million pounds worth of Ferrari. Lamborghini Urus, probably the best all round SUV you can get, certainly the top of the range for a sports SUV. So they were pretty impressive yeah. as well. You see, we just mentioned you in a Pagani Zonda, <laughs> you in a Ferrari, but I think episode five, we found the real you. <laughs> <laughs> I loved yeah. it. The Piaggio yeah. Apple, 15 horsepower. I loved it. I thought that was such a good little fun thing. And the feedback on that was good as well because people enjoyed to see a little bit of a difference to just the normal car. So I, I wanted to see you rolling over <laughs> on your head. Did it, did it lift the wheel a lot? They looked highly well, dangerous. I, I was honestly more scared in that than I was in a £12 million Pagani Zonda. But again, the contrast we had with On The Road, you know, you and the Apple to, to me and another amazing super, again, we got loaned by the owners, are those two Aston Martin Zagatos. I mean, what a special day that was when God. we had one each to drive around in. Consider there's only 99 in the world, there's only 25 right-hand drives, and we had two of them. <laughs> it was incredible, really. <laughs> Episode six. Well, for me, it was that Dallara story because, you know, it was something I'd sort of researched and I always knew that people weren't aware of who Dallara was and I wanted to bring that out in the story, not only because we were driving their first production road car, after so many years of building cars for other people. And, and of course, Delara, you know, just right up to date, Roman Grosjean's Haas, we mentioned it in the film, that was built by Delara. He that, owes his life to yeah. Delara. The strength of that car was quite amazing. So. And people love that as well. So lots of people on social media talking about it, lots of people talking about the story, the journey you took through Delara, which I found very interesting as well. It's all over. <laughs> it took well, it's not so much over. Work. It's, it's not over because. We're talking about a new new show as well, yeah. uh, Series 2 already, which is very exciting. Got a few sort of uh, negotiations on the table there. 
And if you missed those six shows, they're on ITV Hub now. How if long do you, they stay on ITV Hub for? They stay, stay on the Hub indefinitely. So if you're in the UK, you can watch them on the ITV Hub. However, internationally, this is probably the most popular question we've had on social media is, when can I watch it? I'm in South Africa, or I'm in Argentina <laughs> or America. We are going to give you some news on that uh, coming up because um, we're in negotiations right now about uh, international locations. I think that's a big thing for for lots of our followers. It's not just the UK, it's, uh, well, for you particularly, all over the world, which is a good thing. But in the meantime, we're still out on cold, wet, windy runways filming <laughs> more <laughs> items for Love Cars, the YouTube channel. And of course, there's the wonderful Patreon platform. I hope you'll get more patrons helping us make more quality car shows. And that's, like you say, it's a platform uh, where people can contribute to the arts and to film and to people like us as well. And in return, we give them behind the scenes exclusive access and we have little chats and, and we've got some big plans for our existing patrons and for our new patrons for 2021 as well and beyond. So we've made some good friends on Patreon, haven't we? We have indeed. Hopefully we'll make a lot more friends in the future. And don't forget, YouTube, lots of still going to go on, like you said, cold, wet runways and all sorts of things on YouTube. Maybe another new face or two as well on YouTube. So that's going to be quite exciting to just to try and get some more content out there. I wonder what people's highlights were, the best cars of the show. Lovely to find out below. But I mean, all, all comments are well received, whether it's about I'm are. too old or your teeth are too white. <laughs> and no teeth were white in the making of this TV show. And we love yeah. comments. I mean, people love and hate it. It's, uh, it's the way the world the is. The comments, I. Honestly, I was absolutely overwhelmed. I stay away from social media, particularly with this, but I couldn't help look at the comments. Comments after episode one, I couldn't believe it. I didn't go to bed until three o'clock in the morning because I was on such a high, such positivity coming. And that, for me, has been, honestly, the cars are brilliant. Manufacturers and the owners letting us use their cars made the show. But the comments have really been the takeaway for me. And the main message is more love cars coming and more love cars on the road in series two, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> Fingers, Fingers crossed. crossed. So there you have it, a few highlights from us and you. And we're going to leave you with a rundown of every single car featured in the show. Let us know your favourite in the comments below.